Hello and welcome a new Cinema 4D action. This one is a simple but very useful tutorial. Maybe we can refresh our knowledge about the dynamics. Our model has some dynamic parts. Some wheels, a body, and an arm. We will connect them together to get a nice dynamic movements. First, put some connectors into the wheel objects and connect them to the catapult's body. Don't forget to reset the PSR for every connector when you put them into a wheel. Just copy them to all wheels, reset PSR, and put the desired wheel into object B slots. Now, these wheels in the body object need rigid body tags to activate the dynamics. Do this. The ground object needs a rigid body tag too. Give it a static body and increase the friction. When we play this, you see that our dynamics are working well. The most important part is the arm of course. If the pivot point is not in the correct place, the arm do not work properly. To find a correct pivot point, activate the axis move tool and select vertex snapping. Then drag the axis to the center point of arm. The pivot is at correct position now. Give it a rigid body tag. Now we need to connect the arm to the body. Just put a connector into the arm object, reset PSR and rotate it 90 degrees. Then connect them properly. When we press play you see that the arm drops on the ground but we actually need it to collide with body. So please uncheck the connectors ignore collisions box. Okay. This weird thing happens because of the object's bounding boxes. We need a moving mesh to tell the body as it is a shape not a bounding box. Everything is okay now. This is the time to put a spring object into the scene. We should place the spring connection points to the right positions. We will use the offsets. Just do these adjustments. As you see the spring is working well but needs some more. We must decrease the rest position and increase the stiffness for a stronger movement. But these settings cause the body to tumble. Because the arm is so strong and the body is a lightweight object. 
We should give it some custom density value. Do this. Much better. The dynamics are looking so real. Now this is the time of our cannonball. Just give it a dynamic rigid body and try to put it into the arm spoon. Same bounding box issue again. Please make the arm act as a moving mesh. Good. Just try to throw the ball if possible. Now we need to throw the ball in the time interval we want. We may also need to change the tension of the spring and the weight of the ball. We will need user data for this. You should do what you see in user data editor. You can change the values depend on your model. We did our job well but without an Espresso these values are not going to be useful. Espresso is our best friend, please feel free to use it. These user data ports need some correct connections to work with. Just do this. We will control the stiffness of the spring and the density of the ball with these connections. We need a flip-flop node to control the boolean values of the trigger. Flip-flop node is similar to an electric switch. One is on and zero is off. We need to uncheck the trigger box at the beginning of the timeline. To do this we use the user data trigger slot again. Now we should reset the trigger at first frame. Just compare the time and be sure if it equals to zero. If yes, shut down the trigger. We should disable the spring at frame 0. It will be active when we check the trigger box. Now we can try some shoots by changing the values. 
like that. Seems good. I prepared a simple target before and we will activate it. The cloner object with simple boxes inside with a grid array. Give it a dynamic tag and adjust the needed values. You will see some actions depend on the dynamic body situations. Please try to understand these values. You can try different situations depend on your animation. A little tip for you. Sometimes the dynamic objects like springs or motors stop working if we don't trigger or use them for a few seconds. To prevent this issue please change the dynamic tag to a compound collision shape. OK. I put the user data sliders on the hood. The question is, can we add some more catapults on scene? Yes. Just copy and paste it. All dynamic tags, expresso tag and the user data will be copied. The sliders on hood were also copied. Put them on to right places. Unlike me. Sometimes I'm confused where to put what. Press shift and left button to select them. Then press control key and drag them to the desired points. Thanks for watching. See you next time.